Hi there, it's Anne here on the Life LDC Knits channel and I'm here today to talk about Rowan's 70th edition of their Knitting and Crochet magazine. This is my subscriber copy. It actually arrived a couple of weeks early. I was so surprised to see it in the mail. It's a nice cardboard box and the magazine itself comes wrapped in blue tissue paper. And there it is. I'm sure you've seen the preview of the, the cover uh, on social media here and there. Um, but what today, what today we're going to do is I'm going to do my, my in-depth review of all of the designs in magazine number 70. So get yourself a cup of tea or like me, I've got water today because I'm parched all the time. So get yourself a drink and maybe you're knitting and settle down and we'll talk about magazine number 70. Okay, so some big changes here at Rowan. Um, first one's just to do with this magazine. Unfortunately, because of COVID, this was shot in a studio. So there's no, no, none of those lush, absolutely gorgeous lush winter photographs that out on the, the dales or the moors or down by the English coast that you, that we sort of have grown to expect from Rowan. Um, it's rather unfortunate, but because of that, there's also a couple of interesting photographs that show the designs on a mannequin, which I think is a, is a good thing because it, you, you get to see it in a whole different perspective. And Rowan has embraced uh, a larger size range to be more inclusive. So the size range is before it used to start at a 32, 34 size and end at um, a 48, 50. So now the range starts at 28 to 30 inch. And I still, sorry, I still talk in inches. Bust to 60, 62. So there's now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sizes available in all of these designs, the garment designs. Uh, this is great. Sizing is all subjective de depending on the amount of ease you want and everything. I'm not gonna go into that now. That's almost like a whole story in itself. But now the designs are actually written in, in these nine different sizes so that you can pick the size suitable for you and, and hopefully make it more inclusive uh, for more knitters. The other aspect because they have done that, and I'm just trying to find a really nice example of it for you, is Rowan has used uh, two different size models. And sometimes the garments are shown on both models. Unfortunately, that's a dark garment. I'm trying to find one that's a lighter, a lighter, hmm, this one, this is perfect. This design is called Titanium by Martin Story in Alpaca Classic. And you'll see that up here it is shown on the model that has a 43 inch chest. And down here it's uh, shown on a model with a 32 inch chest. And this helps you to envision yourself in the actual garment. Now, not all of the designs are shown like that, but a good proportion of them are. And so it will give you a better idea of how the garment is going to look uh, on you. And I've got a lot of ands here. Because this is the 70th edition, that means 35 years Rowan has been producing two of these gorgeous coffee table type books. Even my husband loves it when he goes by. He always says, oh, that, that looks great. He, he thinks this is one of the best publications, uh, best quality publications out there. Anyway, so because of this being the 70th, it's their platinum, platinum edition. And to celebrate, they have a whole section of garments that use DMC diamond uh, thread. Now, you might not have have heard, but um, Rowan was uh, sold from the Mez group 
and DMC, which is a French thread company, a very old established French thread company, now own Rowan. They also own Sirdar and Wool and the Gang when it comes to knitting, but they are known for their threads. You know, DMC floss, everybody's used that for their embroidery. So they have added, just let me get it. On a, on a group of the designs, they've added DMC Diamond. This is the rose gold color. I bought this because I did a little swatch. 35 yards per spool. Some designs use just a little hint of it and other designs like this color, this cover uh, design by Martin uses it throughout. But you do have to remember, this is just an additional thing. You do not have to actually use this thread. You can knit, you can knit any of these designs without the diamond, that's how you say it, without the diamond thread uh, it, this does not change gauge or anything. It just adds that little bit of metallic, you know, luxuriousness. So without further ado, let's get on to looking at the different designs. Okay, so I've got my notes and I've got my magazine. And I've got my glass of water and let's get started. So as usual, the magazine has three stories. There is a platinum story, platinum story. These are all the garments that have the, uh, that have all of them except one have a touch of diamond in it and they're by all different designers in, uh, you know, the typical, the Rowan uh, designers, Lisa Richardson and Martin Story, Erica Knight, Georgia Farrow, Chloe Thurlow, Annika Andrea Wolk, Kaif and Brandon, Arden Carlos, Quail Studio, Galena Carroll, Vib Ulrich, Emma Wright, and Kristen Tendike. So this is really quite, um, uh, a collection uh, of, of different designers take on the platinum, uh, the platinum theme. So it starts off with Cobalt by Brandon Mabley. Uh, I love this, this jacket. It's, it's uses um, black felted tweed with alabaster and the alabaster and diamond are held together. And so it makes this gorgeous uh, cross, like cross design. It's a very classic, strong looking uh, motif on this jacket. It's very, very, very classy. And I just love the colors that's being used in this. Interestingly, it is knit in one piece from the bottom up and then it goes out and joins the sleeves onto it. And then the, um, the rib is picked up and knit afterwards just in the black felted tweed. Love that one. Sardonyx, Sardonyx. I should look that up by Galena Carroll. This one is done in Kid Classic with the DMC Diamond. Now, when you look at the schematic for this, it's knit in pieces but it is basically one of these poncho swancho things. It's very poncho styled. The, the, arm, um, the split for the arms is very, very low. So it's like a swancho and it uses uh, Kid Classic. And then the di diamond is only used in the diamond pattern at the bottom on the edges that it's not all over on this. So quite like that one. Now, I'm gonna tell you, when I first looked at this, this magazine, I wasn't impressed. And I've heard a lot of people saying that um, on Ravelry, but we know that a lot of the Debbie Downers are on Ravelry. I should, we might have to take that comment out, but you know, if you're gonna complain, complain on Ravelry. Anyway, the more I look at it, the more I'm seeing things that I really appreciate. I've, 
and I like and I appreciate the construction of it. So off my soapbox. Dolomite. Dolomite is the cover design by Martin Story. A gorgeous cowl knit in the round. Five different shades of felted tweed and the, the diamond is held throughout. So this uses a lot of diamond. Now, I got my diamond. I got my diamond from my local Michael store. And yeah, adding about 30 balls of this, 30, 30 little skeins of this or reels of this, I guess it's called reels, would add a lot to the, uh, the garment. Now, this would be quite the statement and, and it might be, if you're the type of knitter that you're gonna do one project for the season, this might be the kind of thing you wanna do. Okay, so quite like that. The next design is, let me see, Topaz by George Farrell. It is a short sleeved top. It's knit from cuff to cuff sideways. And then once you're completed, it's completed, the diamond detail is embroidered over, is added after. So if you are if you like to hand stitch, hand sew, that's maybe with something that will attract you. Copper by Chloe Thurlow uses Alpaca Soft DK and the DMC diamond. Well, this has three dots against the design. I looked at it and I thought, why does it have three dots? Well, I'll tell you why. You um, cast on and you knit, knit, knit. And then you see these ridges, each of these ridges, that is a cast off with the diamond added to the cast off edge. Then you pick back up and you knit, knit, knit with the uh, alpaca soft DK and you come to another cast off and you cast off with the diamond. So yes, that it's, it's a level of detail I have, uh, I think is amazing. Now I knit a sweater that the bottom rib, you did that, you knit the bottom rib, then you cast off, then you pick back up and you started knitting the, the, the body of the sweater. And I actually love the way that gives that finish to the to the rib so this is really quite an amazing design and again wouldn't have thought without having a really good look at the pattern right so this next design uses uh felted tweed it uses barn red ultramarine electric green and turquoise and then it adds the rose gold diamond. Can you guess whose design this is? Of course, it's Cape's Citrine. Now, I can hear you. This is so typical Cape. I'm sure he's used this motif before. The big puffy sleeves are reminiscent of when he first started designing. I'm thinking a glorious color. Look at the deep, deep rib. But wow, what a color combination. I had to swatch this. Excuse my ends on my swatch hanging out. But there's my swatch. And you can just see the diamond in the sort of like the little center of the flower section. But what a spectacular group of colors. And, I'm, and I, I think it would be easy to um, make the sleeves a little narrower if you, if you weren't want to embrace these big sort of, they're not quite leg of mutton sleeves, but they are quite large. The next design is the Emerald Sweater and Wrap by Lisa Richardson. And it is done in uh, Kid Classic with the, the diamond added on the the cable sections that are on the cuff and the bottom of the sweater and on the ends of the, the wrap. 
It's knit in pieces. There's subtle waist shaping, and this also has full sleeves. So looking at this magazine, full sleeves in your knitting. Well, actually, I was going to say they're coming back, but we've been seeing full sleeves on a lot of the indie designers too. So full sleeves, they're here whether you like them or not. Nickel. This is a design by Quail Studio and it is knit in stripes of Alpaca Classic held double and then Alpaca Classic held singly with the diamond. So that gives it an easy way to have a, a nice textured um, stripe. I really like that idea and, and this is something that even with the diamond it would be uh, a, a versatile design because it's just such a basic pullover design. It's knit flat in pieces and uh, sewn together. Now Peridot is one of these designs that's shown on both models. So you can see it here on the fuller model and then how it, it's very oversized on the more, uh, the more petite model. And you also see it on a mannequin or dress form or I don't know what you call those. This head, they're not mannequins because they don't have any heads. What are they called? <laughs> but I love this design. It's um, by Georgia Farrell. It uses felted tweed, kid silk haze, alpaca classic, and the diamond. And the cardigan uh, combines the um, felted tweed and alpaca classic with either kid silk haze or the diamond to give the stripes the different effect, a really luxurious fabric. This is the kind of design you really have to see in real life to, to appreciate the fabric of the garment. Now, when I was looking at this pattern, I was amazed to see that it recommended the ribbed cable cast on method. I don't think I've ever seen a Rowan magazine design that's, that specified the, the cast on to be used. So this, this uh, has anybody noticed that in any design? Maybe I just haven't picked up on that. But congratulations to Georgia Farrell for actually um, detailing that little particular detail to make this uh, a successful knit for all of us. Thank you. Now Onyx by Arn and Carlos is this, these two little pictures here. And I'm really disappointed because I think that this is an amazing design. It's knit in the round. The sleeves and body are knit and then they're joined in the round. Uh, to do the yoke. It's got a really finely detailed yoke pattern. There's baubles and the diamond thread is held double and I think it's absolutely gorgeous and it should have been featured more prominently in the magazine. Just saying Rowan. Should have, should have, that should have had a whole p big page picture. Now this two page spread is shared with this design called Amethyst, and it's by Annika Andre Walk. And it's gorgeous. It's kid silk haze. It's knit in pieces. Uh, the, the body's flat, but the sleeves are in the round. And the, um, the diamond thread is used in the ruffle at the end of the sleeve. So here it, here it is, and it's shown in the magazine on the two different models. Chromium by Lisa Richardson. This is done in Alpaca Classic. It's knit in the round bottom up and uses the intarsia technique to create the V-stripe sections. And these V-stripe sections are where the diamond is included in the design. Very unusual. Uh, you could really make this your own with the color selection of the yarns you used. It's really nice here in this in this soft beigey neutral, but boy, you could do that with navy blue or black and grays. It would be really luscious and, and the diamonds got some gorgeous colors. The next design is Tungsten by Chloe Thurlow. 
felted tweed and DMC diamond. Now, worked in pieces and it's got this classic argyle pattern on the front and on the back. Uh, the diamond is worked with the felted tweed to highlight that, you know, the light cross that goes through the different argyle squares. Um, the styling here is drop shoulder and I think this actually could be worn by a guy. What do you think? I think a guy could wear this. Maybe you might, might want to make the neckline a little tighter, but guys wear drop sleeves. Or if you want, you could um, adjust it and, and make it set in sleeves. This is Lazurite. Lazurite. Lazurite by Martin Story. It is a kid classic with the DMC diamond. The fronts are worked in this stranded design with the diamond being held uh, with both shades of the Kid Classic. So the whole front is highlighted with the diamond. And I think you can actually see that in the photograph there. The back and the sleeves are worked in Kid Classic only in plain stocking stitch. And then the button bands are extensions of the rib down here. So they're left, the stitches are left and then they're picked up at the end and the button bands are knit to go up and around the back. Nice design. I really love this design. I might have to make it. I love the simplicity of it. And I love the little touch of diamond down in the corner, the little motif in the corner. It's called Mica, and it's by Annika Andre Wall, Walk, Walk, and it is so simple felt a tweed and then the diamond is added to make these this square pattern that sort of uh, cross, crosses over the side seam nice deep v-neck you could make it longer to make a tunic length it would be really great i think now this design is gypsum it is the crochet design in this collection it's by Emma Wright, done in Kid Classic, Alpaca Classic, and the Diamond. It's a boxy drop shoulder design. It uses three shades of Alpaca Classic. This page features Zircon by Martin Story. It's an Alpaca Soft DK with the Diamond. Uh, both Alpaca Soft DK and Diamond are held together in the deep cable border and then the body is knit with the alpaca soft uh, singly, no diamond there. The uh, diamond is also carried up the front cable edge, which is knit at the same time as the front pieces. I really love the split hem in that. The other design on this page is called Carbon. It's by Kristen Tendike. And it is a felted tweed DMC diamond design. It's knit, uh, feral design. It's knit in the round. It uses steaks. And uh, the diamond is only stranded with one shade, the barn red shade. So it's the major shade to me of this design. But that's where the diamond is used. This design is called Quartz. It's by Lisa Richardson. And it uses Alpaca Classic. It's another design knit in the round, bottom up. The sleeves and body pieces are joined together and then the yoke is knit up to the neck. The, the, the uh, fern sort of pattern is embroidered on afterwards using two strands of the, sorry, not two strands, two shades of the diamond. This design's called Mercury. It's by Vib Aldrich. The sleeves are knit in the, oh, sorry. It's knit in Kid Classic and the Diamond. The sleeves are knit in the round and then joined to the body. And the body features this sort of all over textural design. And then it uh, works up into this raglan yoke. This has four dots. So beware, it's got four dots.
These are the uh, Arne and Carlos designs in this collection. They're called bronze and brass. You've got this um, bronze is the pullover, very boxy pullover, and it uses the diamond along the shoulder line, and there's an edging around the, bo the border on the bottom, shown on both the models here. And then brass is the matching hat. You can see the details there. And the last uh, design in this story is called Rose Light. It's by Erica Knight. It uses felted tweed, kid classic, kid silk haze, and the diamond. Three shades of felted tweed, one of kid classic, and two of the kid silk haze. And uh, uses the felted tweed and the kid silk haze together or two strands of Kid Classic, or three strands of Kid Silk Haze, or one strand of Felted Tweed with two strands of the DMC Diamond. This design is going to keep you interested throughout. This reminds me of, uh, like I, I really love this. I love the use of all the different yarns together and switching them up. I really, really love this. If it wasn't gray, well, I'm not a gray person, but it makes me think that I might have to look at how to do this in a different colorway, but I love this design. That's it for the platinum story. I hope you enjoyed it. What I'm going to do is, uh, I know holding up the magazine isn't isn't the, easy, the best way to show the pictures, so I'm going to insert some pictures here. So we have two more stories, one called Maison, or Maison, uh, Homeware by Martin, and the other is um, Vivid by Georgia Farrell. So stay tuned. I'm just gonna put up here a couple of uh, photographs of the Maison collection by Martin Story. It's all done in, um, one, two, three, four, five, six designs are done in Felta Tweed Aaron. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven designs are done in the Rowan Pure Wool Worsted. So um, we have a, a combination, two different stylings going here. The uh, Felta Tweed Aaron is, is to me sort of um, more rustic, more homey, uh, warm and cozy type things. And the Pure Wool Superwash Worsted is very graphic, sort of like pops in your face, big lips and eyelashes and uh, a graphic rose and daisy uh, motif. Might have to knit the daisy. I guess just saying I might have to knit the daisy in honor of, of our lovely daisy. Um, and I love the swirl cushion and the runner. I'm not going to go over each of these in detail because it's... Um, it's it's pretty obvious uh, here what's happening. The Vivid Collection by Georgia Farrell to me is sort of a carry on uh, from her her really graphic. Uh, um, designs that she did in her collection last year, her London collection that was based on the architecture. And she loves geometric uh, textured patterns and and she really loves uh, really graphic color blocking. And so Kid Silk Haze with all its different colors is perfect for her for this collection. So uh, let's have a look. Garter stitch and diamond, st diamond scarf. This, this um, diamond uh, stitch pattern is used on a few designs. Here it's shown on a scarf. I love this asymmetric shawl striped different shades of Kid Silk Haze held double and striped. There's this loose knit wrap down shown here. It uses only two balls of Kid Silk Haze and knit on a nine millimeter needle in garter stitch. This is the 
Parella, uh, Parala, oh gosh, I'm having one of those days. Parallelogram, parallelogram, para, parallelogram, parallelogram, wrap. Oh gosh. Sorry about that. And that little scarf there is the, uh, the garter stitch wrap just around her shoulders. I love this design, the triangular shawl with uh, sheer bands. So you either use the Kid Silk Haze doubled or singly, and that gives you the striping effect. And I just love those big red tassels as an accent. Isn't that gorgeous? This is another uh, colorway for the asymmetric shawl. I really like this um, blue and rusty and brown all together. And look at the two color hat with it. Love it. And then they have this little neckerchief, uh, small neck scarf design. Just those little bits of kid silk case you might have around. And you know, if you're cold, just putting a little something like that around your neck would make all the difference. This beautiful color block uh, scarf would be great. It uses six shades of Kid Silk Haze, and uh, there are two colorways shown. One, sorry, two versions shown. One shows the yarns being held double for a, 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 a firmer, denser fabric, and the other uses the Kid Silk Haze held singly. Finished off with tassels. Over here we have the textured parella, palella, you know that word. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I can't say parallelogram. I should look at it when I'm saying it. Parallel, parallelogram poncho. Another version of the two color hat, color block hat. I just want to mention that the uh, the ponchos with the kid silk haze held double. <laughs> and so is the hat. The hat uses the uh, kid silk haze held double. Here's some more of the uh, garter stitch and diamond pattern. It's done in a cowl, it's done in a neckband, and it sh it's shown here in a hat. So the, the clever use of the same design motif in different, different accessories. I'm sorry, I think I've given you some pertinent details that you need to know before you pick a design. And so bigger sizing, diamond is up to you. You don't have to use it if you don't, if you don't want to. Have a good look at the design, uh, the pattern before you choose because some of them have a little bit interesting uh, construction. A lot of in the round circular knitting in this one. Uh, one that knit from cuff to cuff sideways with or without the added embroidery of the diamond, diamond. And uh, so I think this is quite an amazing 70th magazine anniversary edition, the platinum edition from Rowan. Until next time, happy knitting.